Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's Top Tweaks video. I hope everyone is enjoying the iOS 13.5 jailbreak as much as we are here on the channel. Anyhow, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 50 free tweaks that you can install right after jailbreaking. The only other thing I wanted to mention before we get into today's video, this is just part one. There's, there's really no one else making tweak videos, so I wanted to get something out there as soon as possible so you guys can see what is possible with jailbreaking and what's possible entirely for free. But as an alternative, an extended version of this video is coming, so stay tuned for even more tweaks. Now, to make sure you see it, be sure to sub, ding that notification bell, and set notifications to all. That way you guys will actually get an alert when the video is published by us. Anyhow, very lastly, all of the tweaks, the entire list, as well as all of the sources that you need to install them are located down below in this video's description on our Best Tech Info website. It's a great idea to start off and install this tweak called Flame. It's on Big Boss, so it will show up even if you don't have any other sources installed. Anyway, just tap on that guy, click install up there, and then click install right here. That way, when you guys go to your sources tab, click edit to add a source and click add once more. Now you can batch import all of the sources from today's video just by copying and then clicking paste to install them all. That's all you guys need to know to get you on your way to installing the tweaks in today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things. You can unlock your device without even having to touch the screen with Auto Unlock X. Uh, you can add a custom grid layout to your lock screen. Let me go ahead and place my phone down. Check this out. I have a three by seven layout. Uh, if I just pull down, I think it's from the top left. There we go. Uh, this is where you can adjust all of the settings with Home Plus Beta. Uh, another thing that I see people do right after jailbreaking is adding this music visualizer tweak to the home screen. So check that out when music is playing. You have a nice visualizer right there on the lock screen. And we have this new lock screen clock widget right here. This is with a tweak called April, super cool. Another awesome music one on the lock screen is called Sylph. It basically shrinks down this music widget and makes it look a little bit cleaner on the lock screen. You know, let's not forget the basics, going back to the home screen real fast on the iPhone 11. I can now have the battery percentage up in the top right in the status bar. Instead of the battery icon, that's done with digital battery 13. Just simple quality of life tweaks. If I'm in the multitasking pane, I can click this clear button right there to clear out all of my apps. Right now I have it so it won't uh, clear out of the now playing app, but you can change that. You can have custom home screen animations with cylinder. Uh, so one thing that's really cool too is you can create custom light and dark mode backgrounds with Dyna wall light. So right now I'm in dark mode, but if I get out of that, I have an entirely different wallpaper in light mode. And that's with Dyna wall light. You can actually select a light mode wallpaper. So say like that, select a dark mode one like that, click create, give it a name and just head over to the settings app and apply your new wallpaper just within the wallpaper section. Now check this out under stills. If I go all the way down to the bottom, uh, now we have our new wallpaper that we just created right there. You can set and apply this. Now, if you guys don't wanna create a wallpaper every single time, if you guys just want a bunch of other variants already made for you, you can do that with dark papers. Super cool tweak that adds a bunch of light and dark mode custom wallpapers to your device. Another one of my favorites is called adaptive dark mode. So if you wanna to toggle dark mode on when you do other actions on your device, say like uh, turning on and off, uh, do not disturb, so if I turn on Do Not Disturb, it automatically puts my device into dark mode. It's a super cool tweak that just adds additional functionality to the stock iOS dark mode feature. One that was just recently updated was Notifica. So you can create these 
awesome, unique, uh, super sweet looking notifications. Basically with jailbreaking, every single aspect of your device can be adjusted and changed. Things like notification dots. This is with Dotto Plus. It styles the notification dot based on the application color and just looks super, super clean and neat. You can center the bottom icons on your home screen with central. So instead of having them always be left justified, if you have an uneven amount of applications, it will center them up. It looks super nice. You can even go as far as adding custom themes to all of your icons with Snowboard. And I believe this theme is called Mojito. Very lastly in the background, as you can see, I have this fun little uh, widget going on whenever I swipe around and it's kind of creating these cool little animations. That's done with Zen HTML. It lets you add widgets to your home screen and uh, this widget in particular is called Fluid Widget. In the message app, there's this cool tweak called Send Delay. So when you guys go to send a message, it will actually delay it for a second so you can cancel sending it if you guys need to change it. Uh, so you can just send it and uh, click send and it will just wait about two or three seconds. You can adjust that time too. Here we have color board, which stylizes the color of the keyboard based on the application color that you're in. So Cydia, it's brown. Messages app, it's green. Another one that I like is called Dark Keys. It basically puts your keyboard into dark mode all of the time. Probably one of my favorite tweaks here is called Any Key Trackpad. So on these newer devices like the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, uh, to use your keyboard as a trackpad, you can just hold down on the space bar. That's the default iOS function. Um, but with any key trackpad, you can use any key to invoke that gesture. And then right at the bottom of my messages app, if you guys can see this, I'll go ahead and pull it up a little closer. We have bar emoji. So you guys can use your favorite emojis and it's on the keyboard by default. Lastly, uh, as far as the keyboard goes, if you guys want some haptic feedback, so if you want your device to vibrate with every key touch, that's done with this tweak called real keys. So a couple of control center tweaks that I really like. One is called Cool CC to give us these outlines on the control center modules. We have power module to let us quickly respring, enter safe mode, power down our devices or lock the screen. And uh, lastly, before my light died, uh, we have Real CC, which permanently disables Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It doesn't just disable them for 24 hours like stock iOS. So I don't know if you guys saw this one. There are actually uh, three or four tweaks doing this, but check this out. When I'm swiping between pages, uh, my icon labels actually appear when I'm swiping, but then they fade away. Uh, same with my page dots here down at the bottom. And a lot of people actually like to hide this home bar at the bottom. But if you guys saw that right there, another tweak is called auto hide home bar X which lets it fade out after a couple of seconds, kind of the same animation that happens on your labels here. Now we've gone over a lot of tweaks so far in this video. I'm sure you guys are tired of going into the settings app and scrolling all the way down to mess with their preferences. Well, check this out. This tweak called Shuffle puts all your tweaks right in one category within the settings app, makes it look super neat and super organized. Still one of my favorites. I just love jailbreaking for these little fun things like this. If you guys plug in your device to charge it, we have pencil charging indicator right there. We have awesome tweaks to shrink the Surrey interface instead of it being full screen and now looks something like this. Instead of making a noise when you screenshot something, we have a silent screenshot. Just kind of dims the display like that. So here's one of my favorite tweaks, D&D My Recording. When you guys are uh, screen recording, it automatically puts your phone into do not disturb mode. Another one, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have this cursor kind of following me around. This is done with touch flow. And right now I have it to only be enabled when I'm actually uh, screen recording. So if I go back and play that screen recording, you can see exactly what touch flow does. It puts a little dot where your finger was. This is so useful when you're sending it off to friends or family. They can see exactly where you're clicking. Very lastly, as far as do not disturb tweaks go, um, as you guys can see, I'm in do not disturb mode, but if I go down to my notification center, there's no notification uh, notifying me that I'm in do not disturb. That's done with no D&D &D banner. 
While we're here, if I swipe over, uh, my widgets pane right here is see-through. This is done with better widgets. You can entirely customize your widgets to your liking. If I go back to the home screen, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell, but uh, my wallpaper right here is ever so slightly blurred, and that's done with blur ground. You can add a custom blur to your home screen and lock screen wallpapers. So one tweak that I have installed on my other device, my iPhone 10 is called No Notch. Now this works perfectly fine on the newer devices as well, uh, but it actually hides the notch at the top from even showing. Super cool tweak. It works well with Peep that we talked about earlier in this video to show and hide the status bar. I talked about this one in my last video, but Safari Features adds the iPad style tabs to Safari on the iPhone. If you guys want this fun little animation for any list on your iOS device, that's done with Cask 2. Again, can't forget about some of the classics of the iOS 13 initial jailbreak. We have a mobile goose or mobile geese now, where you can have these little guys show up on your device and you can toggle them right from the control center with mobile goose module. One of my favorite new free tweaks is called Dawn. Basically, you can have your banners, doc, widgets, notifications, folders, music, media player. You can have them all appear in dark mode. Uh, by default, regardless if you're in dark mode or not. So if I'm in light mode now, uh, my dock and folders and everything like that is still dark. So about the only tweak I wanted to show you guys on this device is called Gestures 13. It adds the iPhone 10 and iPhone 11 style gestures to older devices like this that have the home button. So those are some of my favorite free tweaks that add some pretty cool, unique functionality to your iOS device and add some pretty fun animations, make your device feel super neat. Now, instead of starting out the video with these next tweaks, I'm going to end it on them. Um, these are kind of jailbreak utility tweaks. It makes managing your jailbreak and installing tweaks much, much easier. So in Cydia, like we talked about at the beginning of this video, you can batch import a bunch of sources with Flame. This tweak also lets you uh, send yourself an email of all the tweaks that you have installed, as well as all of the sources you have installed. Super nice to make a quick backup of that information. Another awesome one is called Swipe for More, so you can quickly queue up a bunch of tweaks to install at once. You can head to your queue and batch install as many as you would like just by queuing them all up and clicking install. So the tweak that I just installed is a pretty neat one. Wishdia lets you create a wish list of tweaks right within Cydia. If you guys are viewing a tweak and you want to add it to your wish list, just click that bookmark button and then go to your bookmark button right here to see your wish list of tweaks. Another great one's called Batchomatic. This lets you back up your entire jailbreak setup. Uh, it lets you save a compiled list of all of your tweaks and actually uh, queue them up entirely for you. Um, this is great if you want to send your entire setup to a friend. If you want to upgrade from iOS 13.3 to 13.5, you can create a backup and then restore that backup of all your tweaks when you're on the new firmware. But if you guys are just on your local device and this is the only one that you have, you can use Snapback to create a uh, preset of all the tweaks that you have installed, um, just like that. Uh, the ORIGFS is the original file system, so you can restore back to the unjailbroken state, uh, create an entirely new jailbreak setup, and then easily jump back to the one that you had previously just by installing this one tweak again. If you guys want to see inside iOS's file system, well, you can do that with Files Up File Manager. Anyhow, just a nice utility tweak to have to edit system files. Again, that's really for advanced users, but it's nice to have and to check out. If you want to show off to your friends how many packages or tweaks you have installed, right now I have 63 and that's done with tweak count 2. Also, all of these check boxes right here next to all of the tweaks, that shows that they are compatible with the version of iOS that I'm running. And uh, that's done with tweak compatible. Um, very lastly, uh, if you guys start adding a bunch of repositories and a bunch of sources and you're forgetting which ones uh, you actually need anymore, 
This tweak called hashtag installed lets you know if you actually have any tweaks installed from these uh, repositories. And so I definitely need to do some cleaning up here, but super awesome tweak to let you know which sources you're actually using anymore. Very lastly, since the on-device jailbreak method is hit and miss as of late, you're really going to want to keep that uncovered jailbreak application signed for as long as possible. And I'm happy to say that reprovision still works to keep your uh, jailbreak applications or any app that you have sideloaded signed on your devices. So that's working perfectly fine on iOS 13.5 as well. Thank you so much if you've made it to this part in the video. That was 50 entirely free tweaks that you can install on iOS 13.5. Again, definitely stay tuned for the second part of this video. There are more awesome tweaks on the way, so definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell, turn notifications on, all that jazz. Definitely check out our Best Tech Info article located down below for this entire tweak list and all the sources that you need to install them. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in particular from us next. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.